Hello Heavy Metal Maidens and Masters, I'm Heavy Metal Mama and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I am swatching and discussing all of my Jolie Beauty lipstick collection. So I have quite a number of Jolie Beauty lipsticks, I think it is, it is nine now that I have. I have everything in the old style packaging, apparently there is new packaging, I'm not sure what it looks like, I think it's more black. Um, but I have everything in the old style packaging because where a lot of it is still available in this old style packaging it has been quite seriously reduced on the Jolie Beauty website. So a little bit about Jolie Beauty. Jolie Beauty is a small independent beauty brand run by the beautiful, beautiful Jolie herself. She is absolutely stunning. She is a self-proclaimed member of the alternative community. She loves herself, a bit of metal, a bit of, bit of rock music. She's a download fan and she loves makeup. So she runs quite regular TikTok lives where she gives away a lot of um, beautiful, beautiful makeup on there. She is just absolutely stunning and such a lovely lady. I thought, right, I'm gonna try some of their lipsticks. I have two of their eyeshadow palettes, absolutely love them. This look is done, uh, it's, I decided to do a very, very sort of simple, just smoky look for today because the lipsticks need to be the focus. Uh, so this is using the Vampirism palette. Uh, I also have Jolie Beauty concealer on. I will go into that another day when I sort of show you how I do my, my full face. I'm loving the concealer. I have two different shades of concealer on actually. She does do eyeliner. I have some of the, it's like a, a solid block eyeliner that you more use for like your waterline and that kind of thing. I haven't done a waterline liner today so I haven't used that today. She has loads and loads of different beautiful beautiful things going on at the Jodie Beauty Empire and I'm loving everything so far so the Jolie Beauty lipsticks now I love love Pretty Zombie Cosmetics lipsticks sadly however they are no longer available in the UK after Brexit I tried to get more lipsticks because all the shades that I had dried out and were just unusable I had lots and lots of different beautiful shades of lipstick from them. I made a video on that a while ago. Love, love, love that brand, but can't get it. Um, I bought some Killstar lipsticks. I really, really like their formula. They're, they are one of my favourite formulas, Killstar lipsticks, but a lot of my favourite shades from Killstar are no longer available. They've replaced them with other shades, but they're not the same. My favourite nude, greyish, mauve brown. It's just a beautiful, really, really pared down nude shade is not available anymore, I'm gutted. So I've got one tube left and it's fairly new, I only broke it open the other week. So hopefully that will last me a fair while, but I need to find a replacement for it. So I thought I would try Jolie Beauty and see if I can find some really cool new lipsticks. Now, the formula of the lipsticks is lovely. I think the it's, it's very similar to Pretty Zombie Cosmetics. Pretty Zombie Cosmetics could be a little bit stickier sometimes. So I really like the formula. It dries down really well. It doesn't really flake or anything like that. I do find when I eat, I have to top it up a little bit, but I mean, that's with all liquid lipstick brands. It just, you, it's the nature of liquid lipstick. It dries and then it kind of flakes off when you eat. So I am not mad about that at all. It doesn't smear or smudge or anything like that, which I really, really like. I really like the way it goes on. It's quite thick, so it's nice and easy to work with, but it's not so thick that you're really struggling to move it around your mouth or it getting sort of beaded up in the corners of your mouth, but it dries down really well in the, and you know, it doesn't budge easily. You need to use makeup remover to get it off. Um, I have some micellar water and I, it comes off with micellar water. I tend to, if I'm just, doing all my makeup at the end of the day, um, then I tend to use a cleansing balm and a, you know hot water to just remove the whole lot. And it comes off really, really well with that, but it's not gonna just budge with you going like that sort of thing. I mean, I try not to because sod's law, if I say that, I'll end up with a red streak up my face. But you know, they are really, I really like the consistency. I like the formula. It's a standard doe foot. There's nothing particularly exciting about the shape. It's slightly tapered on the end. Very, very standard liquid lipstick applicator. Nothing weird and crazy about the shape of the applicator or anything like that. But I really, really like it. I think it goes on really well. So I have nine different shades. We have five that are sort of pinkish and go to purple. And then I have four that are like terracotta oranges to a really dark red, this dark red. And I, some of them I really like, some of them not such a big fan of the shade. I have found you can't necessarily go with what's on screen and even 
filming this, seeing what the colour looks like on screen on my camera versus what it looks like in real life, there is a difference. So if you can get a swatch of it or something or you know have somebody describe it to you I would definitely if you can do that because luckily some of these that I bought were you know sort of three or four pounds because of the crazy sale that they were on and I had a voucher and blah 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 because some of them I'm, I was a little disappointed when they turned up I wouldn't have bought them had I known they were going to be that colour but I have uses for them whereas other shades um, particularly like Haunted and Cabernet love them couldn't be happier definitely couldn't be happier. So we're going to start at the paler shade of lipstick and then we're going to work our way up to the darkest shades because I'm going to have to take it off, put a new one on every time. So the first shade that we have is Sultry. So this is a very, very light pale pink. I would call it like a dusty pink. Um, however, on when you swatch it on my hand, it definitely is more peachy than I was expecting it to be. So let's pop this one on. You can see what it looks like. So that is sultry. I am not a big fan of this shade. I find that it is paler than my actual lips are. Um, and it there's no... <sighs> There's no contrast with my skin. I think if you had like olive skin, dark, beautiful black skin, you would look amazing in this. It would be a beautiful contrast to your skin tone. But I think where I am kind of pale, I mean, obviously I do tan a bit in the summer, but I think actually against my tan, it would look even weirder. The one thing I do like this lipstick for is, you know, if you're trying to do a look where you've got like a dark lip and then you want a paler bit in the middle, it works very well for doing that kind of a look so that you mainly line your lips in a much darker colour and then put a little bit of this in the middle and just to give it like a, a, a kissable fuller lip which works quite well on me to make my lips look fuller because I have very thin lips but as you can see it actually looks better on camera than I think it looks in real life. In real life I just think the colour just doesn't suit me at all. It's not a colour that I choose to wear on its own but looking into the camera I'm like I quite like it actually but as soon as I look at it in my mirror I'm like I hate it so <laughs> it's very pinky peachy and it's just not a look that I tend to go for in you know I think a normal makeup person somebody who doesn't go for that sort of killer goth look they might quite like this but I have a few nude lipsticks and I was hoping this was going to be a really good nude substitute for the ones that I have because I've got a couple of Killstar nudes and they have sold, they don't sell them anymore, which I'm gutted about. Um, it's not, it's not the shade for me, unfortunately. It's, uh, I think if you're blonde, it would work much better. It just, it adds nothing to me. I, I, it's just there. I, I'm not a big fan. The next colour that we have is Rosy. This is quite a pinky shade. I was thinking it would work quite well with, I have the Sorceress, uh, palette and I was thinking it would go quite well with some of the pinkier purplier shades that are in there again though I'm just not a big fan of it I have worn it a couple of times but it's it's pretty pink it's much more Barbie pink than I thought it was going to be than it looks on the website so it's a rosy pink but there's the undertone is just not what I was expecting again this is the kind of color I think that my sister who is quite into normal makeup would really really get on with but so let's pop it on so you can see so again as you can see it's just a strange shade it's <sighs> It's not a colour that I would particularly wear. It, it does look great with black lipstick. If you do, you know, the corners and, and then sort of blend it into black lipstick. But this is quite a warm undertone. I like my lipsticks to be quite on the cool side, on like with a bit of a grey tone to them. I think that's very gothy, is having lipsticks with a grey tone to them. And it just doesn't have that. It is definitely a pink roses colour. 
as you can see it's it's very pinky I just find myself personally not getting along with it again I think it's a shade that if you're blonde it works very well it just doesn't really suit me it's not something that I choose to wear very often it does look better like I said when you do it like as this combined with black I just like I said I prefer like cool grey toned lipsticks and this isn't it okay so keeping in the pink theme we are now going to romance now this is a Barbie pink this is a crackers really really pink pink now again though very warm undertone there there is like a slight purplishness to the undertone but it's definitely a very hot pink so let's pop some on see what it looks like that's the shade we're looking at so this is romance i quite like this i think there is a purpliness to this though, so it's definitely got a cooler undertone than Rosie. Rosie is definitely, I mean, there's not that much in it, but Rosie's definitely pinkier. This has got, it's just starting to go a little bit purpley. Again, it's one of those ones that I tend to wear it with, like if I'm doing black and maybe have a little smidge of pink glitter or something like that. It's not my favorite shade, it's definitely better than than rosy though. I think I find that and if they're a paler color, it needs to have a grayness or a, a definite cool undertone for me to like it. This pops, this really pops. The only thing is I do find it does kind of clash with my hair a bit, which I'm not a huge fan of. But you know, if I'm feeling pink, then then you know, this is definitely out of the three, this is my favourite one out of those three so far. So that is a romance. So the next one that we are going to look at is sensual. This is a, a purpley shade. So this is definitely a cool toned, purpley, pinky. It's beautiful. It's really, really beautiful. I really like this one. This is one of my favourite ones of their lipstick. It's it actually comes out a lot darker when you put it on though compared to what it looks like in the tube this is the one thing that i found with jolie beauty lipsticks is what the tube looks like isn't a good indicator of what it's going to look like on at all as you will see oh we'll, we'll swatch on my hand see that's a very purpley pink and now let's get it on my face I really like this shade. This is one of the most wearable ones that, that I have from Jolie Beauty. It's it's purple and it's cool, but it's not mega, mega dark. It's it's just a really, really wearable shade. I really, really like this one. It's, yeah, one of my absolute favourites. It goes with most makeup looks. If it's got any kind of blue or purple or pink or anything like that in it, it looks amazing with this shade. I really, really like it. It's, yeah, definitely one of the ones that I wear the most. Right, so this is the last of the purple toned ones. This is Haunted. This shade is beautiful. This is a really, really bluey, berry, grape kind of purple, and it's absolutely beautiful. It really goes on well. It's a great colour. Look, as you can see, it's, I mean, that is super dark. It's like a black forest cherry. I mean, it's almost black. It's it's beautiful. Really, really lovely, dark, berry purple, and I absolutely love it. So we'll chuck this one on. See what I mean? Gothy, berry. It's just, it's a beautiful shade. Again, definitely a cooler tone shade. Uh, than the the paler ones that we showed you but it is a beautiful beautiful color it dries down beautifully I love it I really really love it I think this one is definitely one of my favorites of the shades really really enjoy this one right now we're going to move on to the more orangey and ready toned lipsticks so the first one that I have here is ember so this is a very terracotta toned lipstick um, I have a Killstar lipstick that is a very terracotta one that I was hoping it would be a good dupe for. 
it's not the, the kill star one is definitely it's got a bit more gray in it it's a bit of a darker color they do work well together so look as you can see this is very bright orange this works well as like in the center if i use the kill star one around the edge and again if i'm doing like an orange eye makeup look and then i want to do black around the edges with orange it is really nice i just think it's a little bit too bright it's a bit too like i say it's a bit warm again for my my preferences but let's pop it on so that you guys can see it so as you can see it's it's really bright orange and again i don't think it works with my skin tone i think if you had a more a darker deeper skin tone it would definitely work more or like I said before if you were blonde but I think it's just it just looks weird on me in fact in the camera though it doesn't look too bad in real life I I'm not a fan I'm not a fan again though it does work really well if you've got black something to gray it up a bit or like I said if I use that darker definitely more of a brown toned one from Killstar and then use this in the middle to do that sort of brightening up in the middle and make your lips look a bit fuller. It's nice, it's not my favourite, I definitely will use it but it's never my go-to lipstick. That is Ember. Right so the next shade that we have is Chili Pepper. So this is an odd one, this is like a pinky orangey red, it's a very strange colour, it's got like some sort of it's got terracotta undertones but it's kind of red it's it's the kind of red that my sister would wear I think who is very very blonde it's a strange toned lipstick in that see what I mean it's it's kind of red but it's also kind of like a reddy brown it, it, it's it's a nice color though I do like this one so look as I as I've done before let's pop it on the lips So I like this shade, this is a very wearable red, I think some people get quite frightened of really bright reds, this is a great red that you can wear and it's kind of, it's quite sultry but it's not that massive slap in your face, bright bright red that some people get a bit frightened of, I think it works really well with my hair, it's just a very easy to wear red shade, it's, it's got a slight coolness to it which I thoroughly enjoy. I yeah I would I really really like this shade this is definitely um like an office red this is something that you can wear and it's not too sexy um I love this one very easy to wear goes with a lot of colors it goes with my coloring very well as well which I like again I think it's a cool toned red I'm not very good with is it cool or is it warm toned I think this is a cool toned red and I really really like this one this is definitely one of my faves this is chili pepper so the next shade that I have this is heat this is what I would call a true bright red this is a lightning McQueen bright bright red it's I think it's got a warm tone it's definitely got like some slight orangey undertones which makes it definitely a warmer red but this is super bright let's swatch it on the hand see what I mean that is a lightning McQueen red it is very very bright um, it's really nice it's not my favorite out of all of them though as a red tone like I said I just prefer a cooler red and let's swatch let's see what it looks like on the lips there you have it so see what I mean it is a bright bright red this is a bright pin-up red type look it is a beautiful shade it is a beautiful shade but I think I prefer uh, chili pepper uh, if I'm going to be wearing a red shade that I want as you know, that's not really really dark yeah I prefer I think I prefer chili pepper but this definitely definitely I have looks that this is right for I do really really like it it's quite the um the the slap of red you know this is a traditional bright red lipstick so that is heat right and the last shade that I have I would say this is arguably my favorite shade it's definitely the most me this is Cabernet this is I would say the closest I've ever found to Dahlia by Pretty Zombie Cosmetics which I love that brand but you can't get them in the UK anymore so this is it's gorgeous it's a very cool toned mauvey red it's a purpley red and I love it it is just so me 
I will swatch it on the hand. See, it's almost a, a brownie red. It's got like a, a deep cherry undertone, same way as that purple that Haunted does. I really like them. They're just really, really my kind of shades. So this is Cabernet. And this is Cabernet. It's definitely my favourite shade. It's a really beautiful brown toned, cool toned, like I said, it's got a little bit of a greyness to it. Beautiful dark red, like a, a beautiful red wine. I love this, this shade. This is out of all of those lipsticks, definitely my favourite. I absolutely love it. It is so me. <laughs> it's such, it, it works with my hair. I absolutely love this shade. I definitely think with Jolie, I like the darker shades. I like the cooler, more deep shades. I think that some of the lighter shades just don't work on my skin tone. It might just be that because of the goth, goth in me, I just like darker lipsticks. But no, this is definitely my favorite out of the, the selection that I have. So that is all the different shades on my skin tone. I am a very neutral shaded, um, base so I am not a warm base or a cool base you know when they talk about are your veins green or are they blue mine are both I literally am right smack bang in the middle on foundation shades I don't go warm or cool so I have quite a what I would call a neutral um, skin tone I do tan in the summer it is not the summer now I am the palest I'm probably going to be this is quite a pale foundation that I have on um, it's actually the Primark Estee Lauder dupe which I was like, well, for £5 a bottle, why not? Let's try it. I'm really impressed with it, really impressed with it. So, um, yeah, check that out if you can. For Fiverr, you know, <laughs> can't really go wrong. Obviously, I am quite pale. I'm not the palest. I know I've got friends who are far, far paler than me, but I'm definitely not a sort of an olive-toned skin or anything like that. So you may find that some of these shades look very different on a different skin tone to me. So don't necessarily think, oh, well, it looked terrible on her. If you've got a much different base skin tone to me, they may look very, very different on you. Also, your hair colour may well really change how things look. I think that some of these shades that I think look awful on me, or it's certainly they're not colours that I would choose to wear, would probably look fantastic on my sister who, you know, picks up a tan really easily but is very blonde. Or, you know, some of my friends from work that have got very, very dark skin, you know, they're either of Indian origin or black. And I think some of those these colours would look fabulous on them um, because it was just such a contrast. I think some of them where they're quite pale and pinky, there's just not enough contrast for me. But I am used to having makeup where it's quite the, the slap in the face of look at my makeup. I certainly don't go for an understated, you know, I'm not one of these no makeup makeup look kind of people. You know, if I'm wearing makeup, you're going to know about it. So this is, uh, you know, the, all the different lipstick colours. I definitely think the darkest are my favourite. What were your favourite colours? Do you have any Jolie Beauty lipstick shades? What are your thoughts on the formula? What are your thoughts on the shades? Um, what colours would you like to see? I would like to see a mauve toned nude with a greyish base that would be my that would be my my go-to nude would be that kind of color I would really love to see something like that come out what would you like to see out I don't have their black and I really should get their black but I've got like three Killstar blacks at the moment so I am in no danger of running out of black lipstick anytime soon so I just didn't really think it was worth spending money on a black lipstick that I'm not going to open for months and months and months when I already have because Killstar keep doing oh a lipstick for a pound with an order of so-and-so so yeah okay I'll have a black lipstick for a pound it's definitely the color I probably get through the most is black so <laughs> you know but um, what shades do you have let me know down in the comments um, would you like me to do a review of their concealers obviously I only have two so let me know if you would like me to do a very quick little video on that I do have of course the Sorceress palette uh, look review and you know three looks that I will do coming soon that will be another video would you have like any other kind of makeup videos from me I know quite a lot of you like me doing these sort of goth looks for over 30s I'm over 40 now but you know um, so let me know if you would like any more of those sort of makeup look videos I am happy to oblige let me know what sort of themes you would like me to do them on because I always find it's a bit daunting and that I don't know what theme to to go down uh, so yes I ho hope you have enjoyed this
this video remember to like this video comment down below to discuss any of the things that come up in the video subscribe to this channel if you haven't already and thank you to all of you that already do hit that notification bell so you can find out whenever i upload and remember people stay heavy and go watch Jerly Beauty live on TikTok. <laughs>